Today I am here at a Bosendorfer 290 Imperial Grand Piano, and this piano is famous for a number of reasons. It's one of the largest and most expensive pianos that has ever been sold, and it also has nine extra keys down here on the bass, which I will do a video on, and you can go check out that if you're interested in hearing the sound of these keys. But I thought I would do a quick video that just kind of demonstrates the overall sound qualities of the Bosendorfer 290, particularly this one, because this one I feel has an especially warm, rich sound that is kind of unbosendorfer like if that word makes any sense to you. It's extremely rich and beautiful, and Bosendorfers typically have a much clearer sound than this one. So I thought I would play the first 20 or so measures of Moonlight Sonata to kind of give you an idea of what this piano plays like when it is played quietly. probably tell this piano plays quietly very very well. The action is quite responsive and it's a little bit heavier than an action on a newer piano like a brand new Bosendorfer or a brand new Fazioli, but it still responds excellently and does everything that I would ever want it to on this piano. You might have noticed when I played some lower bass notes that the, the bass on this piano is very rich and I'm really hoping that that's coming through on the recorder. It probably is, but especially the very low bass notes, especially when played in octaves, they're very rich and they're very fat, and I love that sound quality, and I don't think I've ever heard that in a Bosendorfer. I did a video a couple years ago at uh, 2016 NAM show of the 280 VC, and that also had a very nice bass, but I don't remember it growling quite like that when played quietly. It's an awesome, awesome sound. Now let's go from the extreme low to the extreme high and test out the treble on this fantastic piano and see how that sounds. The treble on this piano is also very nice and bright. It has some, I'm sure it has great sustain. That it does, it has excellent sustain. And uh, it has plenty of power to compete with the bass, and it has a very nice clean, bright sound, and it sounds overall very, very nice. I hope you enjoyed this video of the rare Bosendorfer 290 Imperial, and uh, if you liked it, maybe you can check out my channel. I've got some other cool videos of rare keyboard instruments coming up soon, and uh, you can go check out those as well, and hopefully you enjoy them as well. I'll see you in the next video.